can compare the concept of a sketch to the concept of a banana. And let me clarify, it's not because bananas are berries, or because they're naturally radioactive, or because they're chock full of healthy properties, or even because the Cavendish variety that went ahead and replaced the Gros Michel in the 60s as our banana of choice are clones without seeds who are already battling the Panama disease. Instead, the similarity comes from the concept of a banana's physical structure. What we see is the banana peel, but we know that there will almost always be a banana inside that banana peel. Without that inner banana, there would be no outer banana. Essentially, most often without a sketch, there is no final product. So sure, we all sketch, but there are ways to improving on your artwork by sketching with purpose rather than just by doodling. So here are some tricks to getting as much as you can out of your sketches. Deny yourself the luxury of erasing by putting your pencils aside. This helps with a mind that is very self-criticizing or a perfectionist because you have no choice but to accept your mistakes and even adapt to them. You can't constantly fix a drawing with ink, although you can add to it as I've done with a white Prismacolor pencil to these doves. Yet with a pencil, we will try over and over again to draw something right until we either do it right, throw it out, or burn a hole right through the paper. So choose any kind of pen or marker that you like and challenge yourself by not erasing. Go to Google and search to your heart's content. Take burbs and coconuts, for example. Now just click images you find pleasing once you do the search and draw them without even saving them. One after another, doodle away and you can find yourself picking up a sort of rhythm. And it doesn't matter how famous or relevant the image is either because chances are no one is going to see your sketches. Not even me or Harold, cause you think it's entertaining to put our heads inside of coconuts, take pictures of it, then put it on the news and then put it on the wrong part of Google search. You guys are absolutely weird. You even trapped two birds inside of a ball. I mean, I can't can't understand how the human brain even works. Be swift, and I don't mean scream when it's springtime, but if you've ever drawn live models before, whether it be from an attended class or video, you'll know that poses can be timed from 10 minutes, 5, but then there's these 2 and 1 minute poses, and that doesn't seem like much at all to draw an entire human being, but there's a reason for it. Our teachers will do this to students so that they can become swift and fluid in their line work. In a one minute pose, you have to catch movements and the essence of a pose as quickly as you can before time runs out. To summarize, drawing fast can help you draw a lot better because it adds a lot of life into your work. And that's apart from the fact that it crams anatomy into your brain. And that's it for this month's episode. I hope you guys liked it. I hope these tips were helpful. And remember, doves and bananas are amazing. Uh, anyways, yes, we will catch you next month with another video. And until then, take care.